Hi, welcome back to AmbleSmith.com. And today I want to introduce you to a piece of gear from Maxpedition Hard Use Gear. And this, what I'm wearing, is the Vulture 2 backpack. It's a very fine piece of gear and is ideal for day excursions or a 72 hour pack. So, what I want to do is I'm going to take off the pack, I want to break it down for you, show you what I got in it, and show you all the features. Okay, as you see, I'm wearing the pack, and one of the nice features of it, it has a, a waist belt and a chest belt. And on the waist belt, you have Molly or Powell attachments on either side of it, which makes it really convenient for attaching GPS, mag pouches, hydration systems, or any weapons carrying gear like holsters or what have you. Now, I'm going to take the pack off and kind of give you an idea of, of its size. The pack is decent size. It's almost the same internal capacity as an Alice medium pack. But it, being a frameless pack, you have to pack wisely on this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle. We're going to tear everything out of the pack and show you all the features. Okay, here's the Volta 2 pack right here. I'm, kind of, I'm just kind of showing you the different sides of it. There's plenty more room in here for this stuff and gear. I only have what I think I need in here for right now for what I'm doing for this review. It has a nice pad on the back here which helps wick away sweat and make uh, carrying this pack a lot more comfortable. But what I really want to show you is a comparison of this pack next to the Alice medium frame pack. The only difference really is the Vulture 2 pack has much better materials than what the Alice pack is made of. There's nothing wrong with the Alice pack, but it's not designed to be used in such a way that uh, it's comfortable. I've lugged these things around many of hills through Camp Pendleton, Okinawa, and Middle East, and I tell you, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it works. Now here's a pack, the Maxpedition Vulture 2, which is designed for comfort and designed for hard use. Now the Vulture 2 is a perfect three-day pack. It doesn't have the cumbersome frame that most packs of this size would need to carry this kind of gear. And I want to tell you some of the features it has. It carries 2,810 cubic inches of, of space inside of it, so you can stuff a lot of gear in this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and break this thing down. I'm going to show you the features on the inside of it and on the outside of it. So let's break this thing down. A little dirty here, no big deal. All right. As you see, we have a Y strap here to keep everything nice and cinched. Also, you have cinch down straps on the side to make sure that if any extra space that you have is not going to slosh around. Now, in this compartment here, I don't have really anything in here at all, except for batteries. I just keep batteries for my, my Surefire and for my uh, hull sight. Now, on the outer compartment, So I keep all my mountain house food bag like to carry with me. It's dehydrated so it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Now on the inside, you have a little clip for attaching keys or something you might have to get you right away. It has a compartment for a calculator, a couple pens, and a notebook. Also carry a space blanket. And my sharpening. On the main compartment, 
here are my MSR water filter. And a full set of camis. And there's plenty more room. Now inside of here, you have a little mesh bag here. You can put whatever you want in there. You can stick in a notebook, um, socks, whatever you think you need. But like I said, this is a frameless pack. So what you have to do is pack this thing wisely. So what I do is I pack it flat, like this. As we turn to this side, you can see on the on the waist strap, we have the Molly attachments and the Palace attachments. So it's compatible with all the Molly gear or the Alice gear. And that's available on both sides. And up and down the sides here, we have nine levels of attachment points here. On the back you have attachment points all across the back. On the bottom, you have a rugged, non-slip, rubberized bottom, which is great. Sometimes you can take your pack off and you drop it on the ground. In a lot of cases where I'm at, it's going to be wet. So this helps keep uh, all your stuff dry. More Molly attachments over here. And then this is a feature I really like. Is this compartment right in here where I keep my HydroStorm hydration bladder. And there's plenty of room for larger bladders. There's Roco access on the top where your hydration tube pops out at. There's a carrying handle on it. This thing is loaded with features, but it's not overloaded. That's one thing I really like about this pack. It's exactly what you need, but it does have a bunch of stuff that you don't need on it. Now, as far as gear goes, I've owned a lot of gear. And I'm not going to mention any brand names out there, but there's a lot of brand names you can spend a lot more money on. And for the money, I can tell you this is probably by far the most well designed and thought out piece of gear I got in my inventory right now for what I use it for. I use this as a three day pack and when I go somewhere um, I will attach all kinds of gear to the outside of this and this three day pack will sometimes end up being a four or five day pack but that's not a big deal. I have to travel light and freeze at night. <laughs>